Well, they are the ones that set the timeline, you know, that's us. They're saying that they want everything done by the 1st of April. And so we're just responding, well, if you want to do the 1st of April, let's sit down and get it done. It can be done. Um, we are going to have a meeting, I think it's tomorrow, and, um, and, and our, our um, representatives in that committee, uh, the DPM and um, Minister um, Fonseca, Henry Charles um, and um, Chris, um, we have already told them more or less what, what is it that we can expect um, or what is it that we believe that we can, can, can do and said so definitely the, uh, the um, increments but we need to put now uh, a system in place to, to, for increments to be given based on merit and the, um, the pension reform I think the, the first step is that there is a um, and and they are, the, the unions have already accepted that, yes, they agree that there's supposed to be pension reform and they're saying, well, they want to start at ground zero. Um, if we were to do that, it's going to take us about 30 years before we start to really feel the benefits of it. And 30 years from now, the amount that we'll be paying is going to be incredibly high. So we simply cannot afford it. And so we will sit down with them and try to find a way how we can implement it. it probably it will take more than six, six weeks, of course, it probably will. But the important point is that once both, the, both groups have said yes, we need to do it and these are the parameters and then work towards it.